Hey what's up guys, Sahil from Drones Tech here. Have you ever wondered if you could root your phone without a PC? Well that's not a thought that comes to mind every day, because it's practically not feasible to do that. But the folks over at Kingroot have actually come up with an app for your Android smartphone that can root your phone without a PC or any other secondary device. For this you need to have the latest version of Kingroot app which you can download from kingroot.net and in case you don't find the file there, you can download it from the link in the description of this video. Once you have downloaded the file, install it. If you get a security prompt like this, then you need to go to settings and allow installation of apps from unknown sources. Check the unknown sources option. Once you have done that, go back and tap the APK to install it again. And this time you shouldn't face any issues. Click on next and install. After that wait for some time, generally from 20-25 seconds to a minute at the max for it to verify the root status of your phone. As you can see, it says root access not available. That's because my phone is not rooted right now. And to confirm that, let's do one more thing. Let's install root checker from Play Store. It's installed now, let's set it up. Agree with the terms and conditions and press OK. Now let's verify root. As you can see my device is not rooted. So let's go back to the King Root app and start the process. Make sure that you have an internet connection for the whole process or otherwise it won't work as it needs to download some important files. It will do a complete 100 which is quite obvious but it can take anywhere from 2 or 3 minutes to 5-7 minutes or maybe more in some cases. So don't get depressed and frustrated if it takes any longer than expected. Just give your device some space. Come on guys. So that is it. As you can see it's done now. Let's go back and launch the King Root app and see what it says. Yeah, it's rooted. Now here is the King user app that will give you the control over super user permissions and help apps get root access. So it'll basically help you run the apps that need super user permissions. But wait guys, the process is still not over. There's one more thing left. First let's go to the root checker and see the status of root. Hit the verify button and tap allow. And yay, the phone is rooted. Now the important part was that I would suggest you to use Super SU instead of King user as it's more trusted and versatile. You can find it in the Play Store, I'll leave the link in the description below. It's a better way of managing your super user permissions rather than giving them to King user to be handled. So let's head over to the Play Store to do that. Type in Super SU altogether. Select it and install it. Once it's done, just open the app to install the binaries. You'll be able to control the root access from Super SU app now. So, did it work for you? Do let me know in the comment section below. And if it helped you, then feel free to hit the like button and share it with everyone to show them how easy it is to root their phone now. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome content. This is Chronostake signing off.